it's 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 me Zen and it's Monday. I mean Sunday. <laughs> I'm counting down those days. I told you I have three days left of my current job, so I am just counting those days down. So anyway, what I want to talk today about is I saw a couple of different posts. I think one was by Miss Janie here. And it was talking about, you know, struggling and our struggles in life and talking about that sometimes some of our biggest challenges are something that actually bring us forth and give us the most energy, even though it seems like we're stuck in a rut or that we're never going to make a choice or that we're never going to make a change or that things are never going to get better for us. Well, I just wanted to talk to you guys today about that because that's exactly how I felt for a, quite a while here. And I just kept thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I know I have to do this every day. I know I have to go to work. I know I have to work. But I was not happy. And um, yeah, I mean, I did a good job and all that, but I wasn't happy. And I kept telling myself, you know, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? You know, I've been in the industry a long time. And sometimes you do feel like you're in a rut and you feel like there's nothing you can do to change things. Or the, if you go to another company, you'll end up with the same position doing something similar to what you did before. And I've got a lot of different positions, so there's a lot of different things I could do, but uh, some of them are more stressful. Some of them are less pay. Some of them, you know, runs the whole gamut. So my daughters had been, you know, like telling me, mom, you know, don't have a heart attack over this. Just calm down over the summer. It was really stressful. And I always tried to maintain a positive face. And I always kept on a positive face when I was there. And just, you know, people say, how are you doing? I'm like, fine, awesome, you know. And I just pushed through because that's the way I have to present myself. That's the way I wanted to feel inside. So I just figure, you know, fake it till you make it, right? Not like it was being unauthentic, but you know how you have to be at work. You have to be a different person than who you really are, I think, to a great degree. Um, for the corporate face. That's what, I'm, not, that's what I'm referring to, not inside. So, yeah. Um, things just seem to, like, go along, go along. And finally... You know, I got to the point where I really was ready to just spit nails. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I would go to kickboxing. I would take out my frustrations on my kickboxing. I would do all kind of stuff, you know, hard workouts, try to relieve stress. And it did work. It did did help me a lot. So was I was able to continue again with that positive front, that positive face. And move forward with that but it didn't really take me to where I wanted to go until I got to the point where I thought if I have to do this that much longer I probably will have a heart attack so you know what that just is it's just not worth it guys it's just not worth it so luckily for me I have been doing a lot of prayer and a lot of asking the universe <laughs> to help me and I would visualize my ideal job other than winning the lotto and sitting with my feet up and shopping all day okay that would be my ideal job but my ideal job where I would have to work would be one like I just got and so it just so happened I was talking to a friend one day and I mentioned my situation how I was feeling and you know sure enough she started talking about an opportunity that she saw and saw a need for. So that's how the ball got, got rolling. Um, one thing led to another, and I was, you know, um, became familiar with the company. I got to meet the people, and the position seemed to just materialize. So next thing you know, you know, I got the offer, and um, the rest is history. I am three more days, <laughs> yes. And I am going to be um, flying down to the main headquarters, and then from then I'll be starting off working um, here in my city. So it's all good, and I couldn't be feeling better about it. 
I still have a little stress left in my bones, so to say, because I'm not totally cleared out there yet. I'm not totally done. I don't know what I'm thinking. Is like the other shoe going to drop or something? <laughs> I'm just one of those people that always is just, you know, I guess a little hesitant to accept change, even though if it's good change, I'm, I've accepted it. But you know what I mean? Until the other is concluded, it's not concluded. So anyway, my point to all this is that if you're in a situation, whether it be your home life or a relationship or a job that seems like you can't escape, you can't change things, I want to tell you that you can um, with enough positive influence and meditation. You can bring things to change. And you ask for those changes to manifest themselves in your life, and you will find it. The door will open. And even if you have to kick that bad boy down to get that door open, it's worth it. And I've done this several times in my life um, where things were like this, whether it be home life or other job. And the same thing has happened. It didn't always happen exactly when I wanted it to, but it happened. And so I want to just reach out to you guys and say, hang in there, do what you can do, visualize and pray and meditate on what it is you really want, and it will manifest itself for you. Okay? So I love you all. I hope I've helped even one person with their mental game today. I know I'm still working on mine. It's an ongoing process. And take care.